What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ayushi, and we're back again with some more Zer's loot. So, where he's located now is going to end up being on Titan, which is just right down here. And you're going to end up warping over to the rig. He's already been here before. This is the same location that he was when he ended up selling the Blackthorn, which, oh my goodness gracious, the Blackthorn so far is my favorite weapon. The only thing that I have to complain about it is the fact that it has barely any ammo, dude. Like, it runs out so quick, but my god, is it a strong weapon. Anyways, Zer's just chilling down here. Doesn't have anything super exciting for me today, so we're going to actually just get the random loot drop because he's got the two-tailed fox, which is a really, really good rocket launcher. I already have it. I'm not exactly sure where I got it, but I have it. Uh, it has double rockets, so it kind of shoots one and then another, and it's just... It's really, really powerful. It's a really good rocket launcher, but once again, suffers from the fact that it barely has any ammo. And then the leggings uh, for the Titan that I already have. Again, these are faster sprintings uh, and chain melee damage. So these are really nice because when you actually do a melee punch, it kind of does like... I don't know if it's necessarily chain lightning, but it like zaps all of the enemies around you. And it's really, really good. It does have an internal cooldown, but they are very, very nice. I should probably use those, but I like my gloves that just give me longer melee damage and buffs melee damage while enemies are further away, which uh, that's these ones right here, the Syntheseps, which is such a weird name. Uh, and then for the Warlock, we've got this, which sounds interesting. So improved charging for void grenades. Kind of lame, honestly, but I guess a faster charge rate for your void grenades is probably something that i should grab for my warlock except i mean i'm back to being on my titan and loving the heck out of it anyways so whatever uh, and then for the hunter we've got a overly complex mask which is defeating a guardian with a melee attack or a combatant with a finisher grants invisibility and restores a portion of health and shields so i guess it's good for pvp i don't know Looks kind of uggles to me. I don't really like the way that it looks. The fact that you have to kill a guardian, it, it does say, or a combatant with uh, a finisher. So I'm wondering whether or not you only get the perk when you defeat a guardian with your melee attack. And then uh, a combatant can just end up being any type of enemy with a finisher. So do you have to use a finisher when you're fighting normal enemies in PvE? I don't know. Weird. But... Let's do it here, gamers. I'm really hoping that we get something good. Oh, please, it takes so many legendary shards. It's very rare that I can end up doing this because I don't grind it enough. We got Skyburn's Oath. You the heck is that? Titan. Skyburn's Oath. Okay, so is it a primary? No, it's actually a secondary. And it's a scout rifle. Ugh. There's too many scout rifles, man. I don't like it. Oh, I also just randomly found a machine gun, the avalanche. I, I, apparently, these aren't random drops. You have to get them through like a certain quest chain or something like that, which is weird because I've never seen a machine gun before, but it's actually a really powerful weapon. So let's try this sucker out. Uh, lobs explosive rounds that get stronger and faster when aiming down the sights. That sounds cool. That sounds really cool. This weapon lobs large explosive seeking slugs. Uh, when you're firing from the hip, and when you're aiming down the sights, the slugs travel fast and straight with higher damage and a lower rate of fire. That's really interesting. Huh. And then for the Empire, this weapon is full auto. Does extra damage co to Cabal and penetrates phalanx shields. Oh my gosh, is this the scout rifle that I'll actually enjoy? The fact that it's full auto means I don't gotta tap the left mouse button like a freaking idiot, you know? That sounds kind of neat. Ooh, I mean, I don't know if, no, he's using a bow. It sounds cool. I kind of like it. It's like a rail gun or something. Like it actually, I might actually use this. I don't use these types of guns often, but. Okay, my, my shots kind of suck. So you'll have to excuse me guys. Oh my God. I keep forgetting too. I don't have to tap like an idiot. I can just shoot. This is a super duper accurate gun though, like Jesus Christ. It's like, it really wants me to just hit them head on. I mean, especially if we're aiming down the scope, your accuracy has to be like right on point, which is not very good against these guys because they like moving around a lot, like every enemy in the game. Still, that's actually not bad. That's a scout rifle I can probably get behind. The fact that it does explosive damage means that it could end up being pretty good for crowd control. It's not the best, but for a secondary, not to mention, like, look how much faster it actually shoots compared to what I was doing. What about the reload speed? That's not bad. 
That's actually not bad. I might actually try using this. It's kind of just like a... I mean, I was going to say semi-automatic, but it's not semi-automatic. What about just tapping? No, I can't tap faster. And it does shoot considerably slower when it's down the scope. Huh. Very cool. Anyways, I'm still just hoping that I end up getting the other exotic sword, dude. Because that's all I want in my life. The one that lets us teleport. Because I hear that one's really epic. Especially, I, I think that one's supposed to be really good for a warlock. Even though I'm not really playing my warlock as much anymore. I'm back to being on the good old titan. Hoo-hoo! Thanks for watching, little gamers. Smash like, sub for more. Have yourselves a great day, Sidor. And stay epic as always.